welcome back to my channel guys. Here is a little vlog of my last ride with Happy. I wanted to post this because I felt like you guys should see some of our progress and I was happy to see some of the work that I've been putting in on quieting my hands and legs and how I've made a difference for Happy. So I did warm up at the walk for probably like 10 minutes prior to this. Um, but I was walking with somebody and we were talking and I didn't want to obviously put that into this vlog. So here we are getting ready to go into the trot. We just started trotting and as per usual with Happy, he's pretty stiff when we first start out at the trot. It usually takes me a couple laps of doing circles and just kind of letting him find his balance. I used to hold and pull and push him into a balance, but I've decided in the last couple weeks, as you guys know, to just kind of try to let him find his balance and let him figure out what feels the best for him along with suggesting like here that he should maybe not be so tight through his left side um, and bend a little bit. So we've been working a lot on that. I've been working really hard on even though my lower leg is moving, not kicking as much and not trying to make that be my sole way of making him go forward. And like I said on my last vlog, it's actually led to him being more forward and ahead of my leg than I originally thought he could be. So. This was our warm up. I usually try to give him a little bit of rain at the start and then once I feel like he's kind of coming through a little bit better and we're not so stabby legged, I take up a little bit more contact but still aiming to keep my hands forward and my elbows soft. So one thing that has been happening with this that I've been noticing um, is that even though I can keep my elbows soft and keep them moving with him, I start to grip more with my hands. So that's been something that I've been working on a lot is remembering like keep your elbows soft and then also relax and soften your hands. So that's something that we've been working on at the all gates, um, but it mainly I feel like comes up at the trot and a little bit at the canter. Um, but it's been going really, really well, and I had a lesson two weeks ago, I think. I was supposed to have one this week, but I'm worried that since there's rain coming, I probably won't have another lesson until like two weeks from now, but it is what it is. We're working really hard on the flat. Um, we're trying to get things a lot more collected and riding better, and I think it is going a lot better. All right, in our last lesson, we worked a lot on sitting trot transitions. So sitting trot mainly to canter, and then we would canter like 10 to 12 strides, and then go back to sitting trot and kind of do that back and forth to help him to get a little bit more off of his front end. Um, here, I tried to do a little bit of sitting trot to extended rising trot, and then um, started working on sitting trot to canter. Now, there are times in this ride where I feel like I don't know if I'm just bouncing a lot or if something that I'm doing is making him uncomfortable, but like that sitting trot looked nice to me. He didn't look uncomfortable. But there's a couple passages, if I leave them in this video, where you can see he hollows his back just a little bit and looks a little bit like, oh, this is uncomfortable. I try my hardest to not even touch his face when we're at the sitting trot. Like here, you can kind of see a little bit. It looks like he's not super comfortable with it. I try not to touch his face at all and try to my hardest not to balance on his face and just try to sit as evenly and move with him and let the like his his steps move me as opposed to like trying to sit against them to sit more quiet. Um, 
His sitting trot, if I don't get it to be small, is large and in charge and very hard to sit. So it's something that we've been working on and I think it is good for me more so than him because I feel like it's been teaching me a little bit more control in my body. So I really like it. I do think it probably has the added benefit of helping him with his transitions to canter, but I think that it actually works really well for both of us. So I'm going to continue doing it and hopefully we'll see some progress there. But it is really nice to like kind of get some body control and really be able to pay attention to like where I'm balancing, whether it's my hands or like I'm balancing too far back on my seat or whatever. So I really, really like it with him. I think it's been a really good exercise for us. Something else I've been trying at the canner is when I feel like I'm getting behind happy or he's getting behind the rhythm to kind of lighten my seat just a little bit and push my hands forward and let him have his head back so he can balance and I feel like it's made a huge difference for him. So in the past when he would do that feeling I would hold and kind of pull back and try to rebalance him myself but then I realized that that was causing a lot of issues for him and causing him to not be able to keep the rhythm going. So a lot of what I've been trying now at the canner is that if I feel like I'm getting behind and I feel like I'm not quite with him, then I will give my hands, give my elbows, and just kind of try to follow. And it's a miracle because it's almost as if within like a half a stride to a stride, he's gotten his balance back and like we're totally fine and like we're cantering normal. And in the past when I would try to like collect and fix it with my hands and a little bit of my seat and leg, he just would get really fussy and like very confused and frustrated. So it's been a lot of like really small little like epiphanies that I've had within my lessons or within my rides that I'm like really really happy are happening because they're starting to really make him into a very balanced moving horse. So it's just little things that I've been picking up that I just kind of wanted to share with you guys especially in this particular ride because I felt like a lot of them kind of happened one after the other. Alright, and that's basically it for this ride. I think we just did a little bit more canter left and then I decided that we would just go on a trail ride to cool out after this. I think we had ridden for like close to half an hour at this point. He did really good. I felt like I'm really happy with figuring out the little holes in my riding that I'm doing that are now helping him to like figure them out and like fix them, I mean. And He's doing a lot better, he's feeling a lot more balanced, and I'm really excited for this year because I feel like we're finally going to have a year where like we're actually jumping well as opposed to just 
going towards fences and making them over or making it over them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short little vlog. I hope that um, you guys are ready for another exciting vlog because hopefully I can either get a lesson vlog soon or at least something where I'm doing poles or jumping. But you know, stay tuned. Um, should have something more exciting coming for you guys in the future. Thanks for watching.